Today I am here with a piano that many people request me to review, and that is a Schimmel. And not only do I have a Schimmel, but I have a piano that is widely considered to be Schimmel's best model, and that is the K230. Now, this is the concert edition of the 230 piano, and basically what this means is that the concert edition, the concert line of pianos, uses the same action throughout all of them, from the concert grand model to the 5'9 model. So basically, you could take the action in the 5'9 model and put it into a concert grand, and vice versa and it'll work totally fine, which is really unheard of in the piano industry. And it's a really great idea for someone who wants that concert grand feel, but they don't have the budget or the room for a concert grand piano, as most of us don't, unfortunately. So the concert line is a really interesting line of pianos, and maybe many people have been asking me to review Schimmel pianos. They're not terribly common, so I don't see them that often, but I'm here at this really cool store in Texas, and I'll put the information for it down in the description, and they have Schimmels, and I'm going to be re reviewing this one. Now, there's a few interesting things about Schimmel, or at least this particular piano, that make it a bit unique. And one of those, as far as the entire company of Schimmel is concerned, is that they use a unique color on the harp. Most piano companies use a gold color. Steinway, I think, has even patented or attempted to patent their gold color paint that they use on their harp. Many other people use gold colored paint as well. Fazioli, I'm looking at Estonia over there, it uses a gold colored paint. Most everyone uses gold. I believe that Bosenorfer uses a slightly orange color on their harps, but Schimmel uses like this neon orange color on their harps. It's really distinctive, it's really unique, and it's one of the ways you can tell just by looking at a piano across the room, oh look, it's a Schimmel, it's got an orange harp. So that's one of the things that makes it very unique. This one also has some gold badges on it, which is kind of cool. I'll show you some close-up images of those, and they have some really interesting gold badges and also a few little round portholes. One over here is like a slightly disfigured circle. It's like an oval. Another um, interesting thing about the Schimmel pianos, at least this particular one, is that the bridge actually has a cutout on it that's painted black on either side of the bridge. And what this does is I'm told it cuts down on the mass of material that's used to transmit sound from the strings to the soundboard, and so it helps give the piano a little bit of a different sound. That's what I'm told that's there for, and that's an interesting feature. They also use a bit of a different um, layout up here to give the strings a longer speaking length. They kind of use like a triplex system or something up here, and I'll show you a picture of that to show you that that is a little bit unique as well. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that no one will ever see on this piano unless you either own one of these or if you watch this video. And even if you have one of these, you might not have seen this stuff. So underneath where the music desk goes is actually a few little logos. The biggest one here you can see is this one that says K230 Tradition. It has the Schimmel Pianos logo up here. And it says that it's made of ebony high gloss. And it has, it has that written in, I think three different languages, including English. Then over here in the back is a Made in Germany certificate with the German flag colors, and it's a round logo with a picture of a keyboard and a piano on it, and that's what that is, and that's kind of neat. And then there's also stamped into the harp where no one will ever see this is a little stamp right down here that has the name of the city where it's made in Germany, which is Braunschweig. I'm probably pronouncing that incredibly cor incorrectly. I don't really speak German, but that's the name where the town is made. I'll show you. I'll try to get a picture of it for you so you can see it, but I don't even know why that's there because no one will ever see that. They should have put it like here or here or literally anywhere else in the harp where somebody would see it except in a little hole, but <laughs> that's where it is and it's kind of funny. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that little detail. One of the things that this piano has that not a whole lot of pianos have, at least here in the United States, is a little handle here that's used for locking the lid. It has a very nice tight feeling so that when you lock it in place it's not going to unlock. And there are a few piano makers that do this, but it's not a terribly common sight. And that's something nice that the Schimmel K230 has on the inside. And also one thing I'm noticing is that this piano, even though it is a 7'6 model, it has unusually huge casters. The casters on it are basically the size of what you'd find on a concert grand, maybe a tiny bit smaller. But they are really huge casters on the 7'6 model, so that's also an interesting detail. And also the piano has a wide tail design at the back so that the strings can be as long as they possibly can to give this piano as good of a possible bass sound. And it has a pretty good bass sound. So let's test out, first of all, the treble with my test piece that I always play. I'm going to start off in the treble, go down to the tenor, and see how this Schimmel piano sounds. I hope you guys enjoy.
This piano has a very clean and clear sounding treble. It's very bright and sparkly and actually a very nice sounding treble. One thing I'm finding is that this piano has a very, very light feeling action. It's very light, it's very delicate, it's very, very easy to press down and play. And I'm not really used to that kind of a feel. My previous practice piano at home had a very substantial action. My piano that I'm going to be using in the recording studio has a substantial action, and my current practice piano also has a substantial action. I'm very used to that feel on pianos, and so when I play a piano that has a really light action, it almost kind of weirds me out, but it's also very nice to have a piano with a light action because you can play really quick, really easily, and with no issues whatsoever. So it's very nice that this piano has a very light action. It's very evenly regulated, very, very nice. It's just not quite what I'm used to, so it does feel a little bit strange to me, but I know many people love the feeling of a piano with light action. I do as well. It's just not quite what I'm used to anymore, but this piano has that, and it's a very, very nice feeling. So I'm also going to play a couple more pieces that test out the mid-range of the piano as well. Let's play a couple of Bach hymns and see how that sounds on the Schimmel K230. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little selection there of Bach pieces. The th one thing I find about the sound of this piano is it's a little bit interesting because it's, in one way it sounds bright to me, and in another way it doesn't sound bright, and it's actually kind of interesting. I don't think I've found a piano that has quite this sound, but this, to me the sound of this piano when I play music on it, just the inherent quality of the sound of the piano sounds happy to me. It sounds very happy, very joyous, just it has kind of a bright air to it, if you will. The piano itself is a little bit more bright than other pianos that you will find, but it's not where you go and you play a chord and you go, oh, the piano is bright. It just it has a bright and a happy sound to it. It's a little bit hard to describe, but hopefully playing those two Bach pieces, which were in major keys, which everyone thinks sound happy, hopefully those kind of brought out those happy, um, bright qualities of the sound of the piano. And the bass end of this piano is also really nice as well. Let me just play a few octaves and stuff down here for you just to, just to test it out. has a nice deep sound and also just a pretty nice sound overall. This is a 7 foot 6 piano. A concert gun would have a larger sound bass, but this does have a very nice bass sound as well. I like it a lot. So hopefully you guys have liked this video of this review of the Schimmel K230. It's a very interesting piano and it has a very nice sound. I've got a lot of requests for reviewing Schimmels, like I said at the video, at the beginning of the video, and hopefully you out there who like 
watching me review shimmels. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you did it, make sure to go ahead and give this video a like. If you want, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, and all kinds of other neat musical instruments. If you want, you might want to think about subscribing. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be informed of all of my future uploads. And if you do all that, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.